Okay, well at least we're, um, we're outputting uh, VCO information now. Um, it's not in a uh, frequency lock loop yet uh, due to the counter problems that I showed, but we are actually controlling the VCO, so we should be setting the VCO to some, some place where if the rest of the radio is working, it should receive. Now the, uh, the radio is set to 145 megahertz right now, and uh, so let me turn on the function generator and it's on and let me turn up the volume and there you hear some noise so let me move the frequency a bit there we go that's awful loud let me turn that down that's at minus 100 dbm let me uh, increase the signal to noise here Yeah, there seems to be seems to be noise. It's probably the room lights. Let me turn those off. No, it's not kind of by the noise someplace. Somebody said, "Hey, your your Arduino might be radiating everywhere. Maybe it needs to be in a box too." And that could be. Uh, but if we listen to the frequency, let's see, let me modify the frequency a bit. So it's centered at about 144.963 right now. So that's pretty close to 145. That's a pretty good tone. So I would say the radio works other than <laughs> the phase lock loop thing that I, that I rebuilt. It's a little bit functional. I guess it's halfway there. Um, so like I said, we might need to, uh, might need to shield this board in the long run. Um, I still need to figure out how to get the, uh, the feedback working, so I'm, I'm working on that, <laughs> so stay tuned. Uh, I'm working on a, uh, a frequency, a, a frequency controlled uh, loop, uh, and my first attempt is going to be to have a separate card and then talk to it with I, uh, I2C. And we'll see if that works or not. I have no idea. I have no idea. So anyway, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, it's a little bit short of a video today, um, but I did want to say that I am working on a, a, like I said, a frequency counter, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it a, an official project that's kind of multi-duty, and so I'm going to lay out a PC board um, and then offer that for, uh, uh, for download if you guys want to build your own little... Uh, uh, frequency counter or use it as a platform to develop other code on and stuff. So uh, that's coming in the future. Just to let you know that. And since it is a short, short video and I need to go to lunch, um, let's see here. I have been having fun with my radio, but I was at the library. Um, uh, MSI gal wanted to go to the library, and so I tagged along and went to the electronics section, and I found this book. And I didn't know this book had, had even existed. Um, so I, I've talked a lot about the art of electronics, and I think everybody knows about it by now. And it is the Bible, right? It is the quintessential know everything, that's the book. And when they wrote it, um, they were wrestling between is it a textbook or is it a how-to book? And uh, the answer that Paul Horowitz gives to that question is yes, <laughs> it's both. And so they had to write it in a particular fashion and stuff. And so certain topics were difficult to put into that book. And so they created this book, uh, which is the X chapters, which is the chapters that got left out. All right. And um, it's not necessarily chapters. He describes them as short stories. Uh, let me... Let me get here to his introduction to the book. Um, let's see. Yeah, here. Uh, I know you're not going to be able to read this, uh, but I'm going to read it to you. Uh, for now, the X chapters, freed from the constraints of a linear textbook style organization, we've written these like a set of short stories on topics that are uh, variously advanced, important, novel, or just plain fun. We think them as little gems, a collection of pearls of electronics. All right. Here's some examples to talk about skin effect and shielding, PC board, uh, nonlinearity of resistors, inductors demystified, talked about diodes. They talk about they talk about all kinds of stuff. Now, uh, reading the book 
I'm not going to go run out and buy this book. Um, it uh, is a little bit over my head for garage type work. If I was a, a double E in industry or wanted to advance my career, uh, this is a good book to have because it, it is quite it is quite textbooky and a lot of theory in here and a lot of real nitty gritty little tiny details and stuff. Uh, there is a few fun things in here, but mostly it's just really nitty gritty things that are kind of gotchas, things you should know, um, things maybe you haven't thought about. Um, and so I would recommend this as a library book. Yeah, go to your library and see if they have it and check it out. Um, and um, read through it and then if you still like it, buy it, but don't just buy it. Get a copy first and, and read through it and see if it's something that, that is, is really you want to put on your shelf or not. Like I said, for, for, for me, no, uh, it's not a book that I need to buy. Um, uh, I will be reading it over the next couple weeks uh, just for fun. Um, keep, keep me, uh, uh, make it easier for me to go to sleep, I guess. Um, but anyway, I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that this book exists. I didn't know it did. And uh, I'm sure it's, you know, crazy priced as well. But there you go.